a rainy start to this morning. It is a thrifting day. Now, I have been thrifting, but it has been so bad for me in the thrift stores that I haven't even bothered to record. So hopefully that will change today. Always on the hunt for anything vintage, especially shirts at thrift stores, little tchotchkes, vintage holiday. So we shall see what is there. Hopefully there's something. There's one way to find out. Join me for a thrifting day and let's see what thriftiness we can come across. Back at the thrift, voiceover because of the music in the background. This poor guy lost its mate, salt or pepper, not sure which one. Great color though. I picked up this little panda. My younger cousin loves panda, so for 49 cents, she can put that on her shelf. Lots of tchotchkes. Those paperweights were heavy, but they are newer. Um, probably from like a Dollar General, perhaps. A lot of Dollar General dollar store figures. Someone must have donated their teapot collection. A few nice ones there. Over in the green, my favorite color. This guy just standing in the back. Never found one in a thrift store before. This is a vintage beer tray and it is local. It is Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Stag Mayer beer. Really cute. $1.99. Why, of course, I was going to, to take it. A few scratches, but that doesn't matter. Moseying along. Lots of cups, saucers, a grape candle holder. <laughs> All sorts of things that you never knew you wanted or needed until you come across it at the thrift store. These were tiles or I guess even coasters for a local um, Boy Scout camp, but they weren't worth that much money. As I said before, you can always find souvenir mugs and glasses at the thrift store. We have some Florida, some of the vintage beer Stein, German Stein inspired ones in the back, these little guys. It's just funny how they're labeled from anywhere and, and everywhere. If they were local or Wyoming, I would have picked it up. This guy, was stamped with, um, I think it was Souvenir of the Pocono Mountains. <laughs> $2.99, you can have your own beer stein from the good old Pocono Mountains. Why not? Another lonely salt or pepper shaker. I really liked the look of this. It was stamped in the on the bottom, but I couldn't quite tell if I would have a cabin. I think this would be perfect for that. Don't have a cabin though. We have a trio of vintage measuring cups. Many people, or measuring glasses, uh, many people do collect these and purchase these. If you are looking to buy one and this kind of style at a thrift store, well, go to a thrift store. That's probably your best bet versus eBay. I was not able to find this brand online. So for $1.99, I did pick it up. And then we have this cute even flow pitcher, measuring glass. You can always use it yourself if you're not going to sell it. I found a penny. I had to show that. I'm already a penny ahead. <laughs> and then this, aha, take on me. This is just laying there. The, the LP, the album, right in my cart. No questions asked. Another thrift store, we have more vintage travel mugs. These have been there for quite a while. I wish they would be Wyoming, New Jersey, something local. I would have picked them up for myself, but those two, they, they don't sell. Lots of glasses. If you are in need of a glass, then head on over to your thrift store. I'm sure they will be stocked. More of the knickknacks, tchotchkes. Walking down, there's another souvenir. That's an hourglass. And then we come across this. Brace yourself, my friends, because I, yeah, <laughs> Chewbacca? Is that you, Chewbacca? I think I looked at this for quite some time because I couldn't figure out what that thing is. It certainly looks like Chewbacca. If that is supposed to be a dog, it is pretty bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, a rabbit on one side and then, and then Chewy on the other. You never know what you're going to find at the thrift store. I had to, to get it because there's no way I could have left that behind. These were rather nice. I looked at them for a while because more often than not, the items that are in these bags down here on this bottom shelf, they are broken. So I wanted to make sure that the, 
the horns or antlers and the ears weren't busted. There's all sorts of different things. We have shells, there are candles. I was hoping that these were grape, like a grape cluster, but they weren't. So I put those back. Um, I think those were the tops of candles. These poor mice, they've been there for so long. The one was beheaded. Just a, a mishmash, you know, if you need a knickknack, go to your thrift store. Again, we have some rabbits, teddy bears. They weren't older, so I left them. Um, there were some bells in the front, just all sorts of things. And then I found another bag. So I guess finding two of the same thing should have kind of told me that maybe they weren't old, but I really enjoy, enjoy the look of them, of course the color naturally. So I took those two, they're $2.92. Why not, as I like to say. A decent day at the thrift, I found some nice vintage items and then one thing that just, <laughs> I don't know why I bought it, but I'm pretty sure you can figure out which one it was and that was the, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> you know, we have the rabbit or the hair on this side and then uh, Chewbacca. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I'm not sure what it is supposed to be or what would match the rabbit, but it looks like Chewbacca, you know? This should have had a lid. It doesn't, and it looks like it, it has been repaired, but I just couldn't. I bought it only because it looked like Chewbacca. That was the reason. <laughs> Oh, it just cracked me up. So yeah, if you have seen this pattern before, please let me know. <laughs> Chewbacca tea wear. It'd be funny to put this on, you know, say eBay and see if I can get people to bid on it because it looks like Chewbacca. So yeah, bought that guy. I ended up buying the measuring cup only because I wasn't able to find one like it. It's called the splitter. And it's like, use a side for half recipes. To automatically obtain half recipe, fill to the fill to the number on the side called for in recipe. For example, if recipe says one cup, fill to one cup. So it doesn't have a maker on it. You know, it doesn't say Fire King or Anchor Hawking, but some vintage measuring cups can do rather well. So we'll have to see. Got that guy. I bought the little panda for my cousin. She loves little, she loves pandas. So I thought that was a cute one. And it was 40, 49 cents. So why not, as I like to say. The best things that I found, well, I'll go through them now. So we have the AHA record. This has the classic song, Take On Me. That video I think personifies the 80s, you know, with the, I was gonna say like the comic animation, you know, the guys running around trying to save the girl and they're running away from the guys with the wrenches. So this was not by the records. Someone must have taken it out, I think, looked through it and then decided they didn't want to purchase it and put it down. But it does have the sleeve, which is nice. Not too scratched up. There is one now as I'm filming that the bidding is up to like $16. So this cost 49 cents. Records are somewhat a pain to ship because, you know, you have to make sure that they aren't damaged through shipping, but they can go medium mail, so they're not costly to ship. It's just making sure that they're packaged well. So this was a fun find. AHA fan club. I wonder what happens if you would write them now. But yeah, classic 80s group. I've never seen this record before out in the wild, so that was kind of fun to find that. Then we also found this, which is a good find. This is Stegmeier beer from the Poconos. I've never heard of this brand. Through all the estate sales and auctions that I've been to, I've never seen this type of tray with a little, uh, I don't know, what, they're not beavers, they don't have the tail. Gophers, I'm going to say, maybe gophers. And it has copyright 1959 Stegmeier Brewing Company, uh, wilkes Bear PA. And it was $1.99. So um, monetary wise, 
comp wise, this sells for around 20 some dollars on eBay, just depending on the condition and then I think also the quantity. So if there are a few listed, perhaps it would be good to wait to hold off on listing it, see when those sold and then if you're the only one, then you can kind of finagle the price a bit. But this is a fun find for me at least, you know, a cool vintage item with some local history thrown into it. Beer trays can do extremely well. Again, it just depends on the beer tray. Not every beer tray that you find you're going to make a profit on, but there are beer tray collectors out there. They collect for certain beers, for certain areas. So this was a fun find. Then last but not least, I picked up the figures. They were $2.92 per bag. I don't know if that was more than what I should have paid, but I think they do have some age to them. Maybe not. Maybe I may have been tricked, but they weren't broken, surprisingly. They looked somewhat older to me, but you know, I don't, they could be Hobby Lobby pieces, Michaels, Pier 1 Imports, but they do have, um, they just had a, an older look. I liked the color, but they're for hanging. I may have been taken on these. These may be new, <laughs> but there were two sets of them. So I bought them both. You know, they do have that retro vibe with the avocado green, we'll call it color. So if you have seen these, you know, at Hobby Lobby, the dollar store, let me know um, to know if I've been taken but I still think they have a, a fun look to them and could probably be repurposed in many ways. So I bought those. So yeah, not a bad day at the thrift store. The best find I think would probably be the beer tray. And then the weirdest find would be the Chewbacca teapot. <laughs> uh, when I turn that over, is that a dog? I don't, I don't know, but yeah. I purchased it because can't can't leave Chewbacca behind. So maybe this is the start of an uphill swing for my thrifting adventures, similar to my garbage picking that with those all those 80 cassette tapes that I found. Maybe we're starting to climb up that up that hill. And who knows, maybe we'll find more Chewbacca teapots, maybe a really cool beer, beer tray or more 80s, 80s fun stuff. We'll just have to see. So yes, thank you for watching. If you are out and about at your thrift stores, I hope that you find that treasure, that item that you've been looking for, or perhaps just something practical that you need for your home and it's cheaper at the thrift store than even buying it at Walmart. So good luck on your thrifting adventures wherever and whenever they may be. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you all next time. <music>